Hi, this is the Massage Goddess, and welcome. Today we're going to talk about how to promote your business. I get questions all the time. I just got out of school. I've been out of school for six months, a year. My business isn't going well. I don't understand. I thought I was going to make all this money. Well, I'm here to help in any way that I can. So let's take a look at what have you been doing, okay? Make your list. What have you done? Are you out there networking like we talked about in a previous video, um, getting involved in the community, talking to people, offering free massages, or are you just doing things over the phone and the computer and sending out resumes? That's not going to work, okay? People need to feel your touch. They need to relate to you. They need to know who you're about and what you represent, okay? People that know me know I'm colorful. See all the colors behind me? Well, that's who I am, and I like to play, and I like to talk to people, and I like to let them know what my passion is. And when I do these videos, that's what I'm doing. So talk to people. Think about where can you go and do a presentation. Oh, you're saying to me, I don't like to public speak. Well, you know what? I don't either. But I love to talk about things that make me happy, that fulfill me, that get me excited. And people love that. It's contagious. They want to have what you have, okay? So if you're passionate about massage and you really enjoy doing it, you can do this. Trust me. One of the places that I started out giving my first presentation, I actually had contacted a community adult school. And I said, did you ever offer like an intro to massage class uh, for couples and families or friends that just want to learn some few basic techniques? And they're like, wow, that's a great idea. Now, of course, this was over 20 years ago, and there are some out there nowadays, but not that many from what I can see. So if you feel like you're a born kind of teacher and you're not afraid to do something like that, then set that up and just show people simple types of things. And just start out first with questions. Ask them, what do you know about massage? Have you ever had a massage? What would you like to learn? And the rest just flows. Then I'd go to senior citizen organizations, and I'd do the same thing. They were so much fun. They just love to meet people and talk and have fun. So I might go in and talk about, you know, foot massage and bring a little foot bath in and always give somebody a demo because they love the demos. And we would engage in conversation. And they love to ask questions, and all you have to do is answer. So you don't even need to write out a whole script. I don't have one written out most of the time, okay? Just see what people want. So when you write in and you give me questions, I sit, I think about them. What did I do in my life? How did I get myself going? And that's where I'm talking from. That's what I'm telling you about. So make it fun, okay? And the more you get out there, the easier it gets, truly. It really does. And maybe you have a friend that, you know, can help you out, that can give you some tips and, and guide you along the way. Because you don't want to be nervous, I know. <laughs> so put the index cards away because if somebody asks you a question and it throws you off from what you thought you were going to do, guess what? You're not going to know where to pick up. So again, talk from your heart, from what you know, not what you'd like to know, what you know, and just answer people's questions. Give them little sample, you know, neck massages. Have them line up, you know, and kind of just rub each other back and forth. Um, bring some essential oils and let them smell them, you know, spritz them around or let them sniff them, the lavenders and the rosemaries, and give them a, a demo of a foot bath. Bring somebody on up and say, hey, let's do a little foot bath, get some sea salt, scrub their feet while you're talking to people, or perhaps while they're asking you questions. They might be asking you, so, where's your practice? Oh, well, that's an easy one to answer, isn't it? How much do you charge? Well, how much do you charge? How much would you charge for a senior citizen or for an intro special to somebody else that you're speaking to? So think about those questions and they'll just flow off your tongue and you'll be able to tell them that. And you might want to say, hey, if you schedule a massage today, I'll give you an additional $5 off today. And have that appointment book ready. you got to have that appointment book with you all the time. And business cards. Hand out your business cards. I always laugh when I ask people, so how long have you had your box of business cards? Well, it's been about a year since I ordered them. I have plenty. Well, you know what? They're not supposed to be sitting in your box. You're supposed to hand them out, okay? So go have fun with this and introduce yourself to people and speak wherever they'll welcome you. 
and you will find out that people will enjoy what you have to say they'll love the information because we're educators too so educate them there's a lot of people out there that still have not experienced massage for one reason or another so one maybe it's affordability well you can make that affordable because even if you had to do it for $25 for the first hour just to get clientele in and introduce them, $25 is better than $0 sitting at home waiting for the phone to ring. So there's no reason that you shouldn't be thriving and having a good practice. You need to figure out though, how much do you really need? What are your goals? Do you have a certain amount that you need every month and do you expect that all to come in through your massage business? Because if that's the case, you're probably going to have to work a little harder and more diligently. Okay, so let's think of some other ways that you can promote yourself. Maybe you don't like to public speak, but you like to write articles. Hey, that's a great way to get your name out there. Did you know that? So maybe you have a local holistic type of journal in your region or maybe you have a small uh, newspaper in your city that's looking for writers and that's a great opportunity they'll for sure say yeah come on give us give us something and we'll take a look at it so you can start out simply and just talk about the benefits of massage for all those people that don't know yet and where you're located and what it is you do you might even throw in a little bit of tidbits on something that maybe you specialize in so articles are another good way there are a lot of people that like to do social networking, you know, on Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn, and those are okay, but those are good once you have clientele too, because then you can just keep them informed and updated about what's happening in your practice, what specials you're offering, gift certificates that you have for Valentine's Day, which is probably one of the biggest times to sell gift certificates, Christmas, weddings, graduations, and birthdays, in any occasion, right? Um, Video clips, just like this, a simple little video clip. You know, you can get a flip video, or um, if you have a video camera, or if you have iMovie, you make a little clip and you talk about yourself, and you tell people what it is you do, and you post it out there on YouTube or Facebook, or even through an email. E-newsletters keep people informed too, and it's a great place to educate them. I know a lot of massage therapists that have used e-newsletters, for example, like Constant Contact is one of them. And they'll write little articles in there. They might uh, enjoy making different things like bath salts, and they'll give little hints and recipes in there. People love all those little added bonuses. They know that you care, that you're taking the time to inform them and to research things for them. So you may want to give that a try. So everything that is possible out there that anybody has ever tried, look at them. What attracts you? to buy the things that you go and purchase, okay? What attracted you to massage school, to the industry, to this career? What do you love about it? How can you sell yourself? Think about all these questions I'm asking you and then figure out what is the avenue that attracts you to make your purchases? And is it something that's exciting and colorful, or is it informative and educational, or is it because it's a good deal? Think about those things. And then create a promotion for yourself, okay? So good luck. Have a lot of fun with all this. And remember, keep thinking success. Don't sit at home and wait for that phone to ring, because that's not the way this works, okay? I know you can do it. And if you have any questions, remember you can always contact me, the Massage Goddess, Gloria, at massageproce at gmail.com. And I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.